and he can kind of stalemate Rob sometimes, but it's just like the risk reward is like super great, uh, and and like it does. Like, if Rob is able to kind of chain Three, things going, two, uh, one, charge out a lead, all go. of it. But, yeah. So, I, I imagine we're going to see a lot of Squirtle play because uh, the little boy has got some really nice fast moves and he's hard to hit. Uh, but he's getting down tilted to hell. Huh? Okay. <laughs> well, he has, his, he has a tilt of his own that's kind of like that. Squirtle F tilt is just so fast. It's such a good pressure tool. But um, I, I do believe it just gets outranged by Rob down to him, right? Like if they went in a tilt war, <laughs> yeah, it seems like Rob is just gonna win. Whoa. Will he be able to kill off of this? Great switch. Um, oh, but he's not out of the vortex at yet. Bro, oh, okay. yo, can somebody? Can I get a can I get a crumb of the eye, please? Can I get a crumb of the eye out of anybody on stream? Um, that uh, albeit though, those were um, those are some pretty clutch down tilts, keeping the constant pressure on Mooch. And that switch by Moosh didn't really help him out because then uh, Josh then still continued his up tilt and still got the up air. Yeah. So, something I do want to just he, uh, remind people oh, is remember that Rob's up air up hits opposite directions depending on the what side you're on. So if you're on the right side, it sends you left. If you're on the left side, it sends you right. So you got to really remember or like react to where you're getting hit by it because the good DI suddenly becomes the worst DI depending on what side you're on. Uh, doesn't get the sweet spot on that up B, which means that Rob is continuing to live. And with that, that well-placed neutral there, he gets back down to ground, gets back to in control. Oh, as we're seeing right now, this is where he switches to Charizard, because Charizard can be really good at getting kills. But with a bigger body, with a sort of overall trickier to get in, but finds the up smash, manages to take the stock, and even though this is not a great position for Mooch, uh, is that gonna be it? Yeah, I think that that possibly could have been, like, optimal DI, but he was at pretty high this time. Hey, you know, I gave up on that dream a long time ago. But, uh, <laughs> uh, with that being said, uh, Mooch finally getting a Squirtle combo on Rob. First of the set, by the way. Yeah, you, know, you say like, oh, finally getting the Squirtle combo, but it's worth noting that uh, Joshathan was playing around it very well. The fact that earlier on he was down tilting a lot, sort of preventing those ground approaches with that super fast move. So he's definitely aware of, sort of Pokemon trainers' really strong suits and is playing around them well. Yeah, um, one thing to note that uh, even though Rob can do that on your shield, um, the more the more down tilts you do on the shield, the more it degrades. Oh no! Oh, where are you going, buddy? Okay, he's fine. So, um, him down to the eight times the shield is good. But, um, just a button put like that. Rob forward airing your shield isn't real when Charger has a smash up shield. <laughs> Charizard trying to do the Rob, coming down with the neutral air, but uh, that ain't Rob's neutral air. So just a quick shield into up smash closes out the game. And uh, Josh has been looking really solid there. Just felt like he knew what he needed to play around and what he needed to play to on his own end. So as long as he keeps that up, he will you know, be able to re replicate those results. Uh, so Nooch has to adapt. Um, Nooch has to figure out, you know, which, you know, basically how to, a big part of it is how to get past these little mini wall that Rob's putting up with his like down tilts and his quick aerials. So yeah, he has oh, to figure he's... out how to deal with that down tilt first off. Um, I feel like even though down tilt is a strong move, there are ways to circumvent uh, the pressure of that. You could jump out of it after probably like the second or third one. Um, if you do have a fast enough out of shield option after the second one, you can do an out of shield option, like or you can just retreat, right? Yeah. Um, but you will be but after the first two, you will be in block them. You will get hit by the first one, then you'll know you get hit by it after the second one, and the third one you have to react to it. So, um, yeah. Yes. To, something you'll see him. Rob try and do sometimes, and it won't be relevant now because he switched to Diddy, but is that when you, if you're trying to jump out of down tilt spam, whoops, uh, he might do a, like forward air to stuff your jump. Anyway, Diddy Kong, goodbye. Yeah, uh, I'm wondering if there was a 
sort of what the thought process was in this Diddy Kong switch. Because um, it felt like he was doing very well with the Rob. Uh, maybe he was worried that his Rob was kind of getting figured out by the end there. But um, as we're seeing, it might be that uh, Mooch is just more comfortable in the Diddy matchup. Because he is starting off very strong here in a way that he was not able to, you know, do in game one. Yeah, um, not really sure about the pick also. I feel like he's just doing it just to do it. Maybe he wants to work on the character. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, right now it's a pretty even game. Um, Moose is throwing the lead, has him at the ledge. Let's see what we can do with it. Down air? Yeah. Um, hello? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not really sure what happened. Hey, Lavi. Or what's French for death? Um,. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, bro. Uh, oh, yeah, right man. now. Uh, yeah, Josh, Josh then is just kind of forcing the elbow. And that up is not connect well. Um, let's see oh, how we get man. this. Right how now, many bro. times have they tried to patch that Charizard up? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. So. I think when he, he's doing this thing where he throws the banana at the shield and goes for a forward smash. And. Oh, wow, what a good back air. Um, but I think the big part of that is that he's kind of trying to have the banana right close to him, bait him into dropping shield and having him slip on it. But the platform has kind of been getting in the way of that. Um, at the end there, the last time Banana landed on the platform, he didn't commit to the forward smash. But uh, overall, it seems that the pressure game is just not quite what it was with his Rob because Mooch is looking really good right now. Staying Charizard, managing to be at 177% and still alive, even after pretty much point blanking that Flare Blitz. Yeah, and yeah, I don't, yeah, Jackson doesn't seem like he's going to know how to from the stock. He takes that back there at 200% pretty much. Um, but yeah, this this seems like a struggle right now for Jostin. Oh, he doesn't have the stall anymore with his up B, so uh, he yeah. doesn't get the angle either. So that's a really good game for Mooch. Um, we're still best three out of five, correct? Yes. Yep, top six, best okay. of five. So uh, Mooch managing to take that game. Uh, Maybe we'll give him some breathing room to try and figure out, because uh, I assume we're going to be seeing the Rob. I assume that we're going to be going back to, because uh, it, it was proven to work in that game one. Uh, now Mooch yeah. just has to prepare for that inevitability. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that first leg. I feel like just fell asleep at the wheel. Um, But yeah, that was pretty rough. That back here at fucking 50, oh excuse me, that back here at fifty six percent was kind of wild. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, it's it back here. Yeah, like you read that jump, yeah, you're done. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll see. Maybe we'll see. Go back to the rob. Maybe just stick up to Diddy. Who knows? Who knows what's happening right now? Maybe it was because is it possible it's because of the stage that he didn't want to play against um, Pokemon Trainer on Battlefield? Yeah, I mean, or maybe no he way. just tried it out. You know, <laughs> he just wanted to try what? it. There's no way. Rob loves Battlefield. The gyro's invisible on that stage as a added <laughs> bonus. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, right, well, we're, going, we're like, going back to... Uh, he won uh, game one on Pokemon Stadium, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going back to PS2. Uh, okay, but so far... Uh, Mooch having a much better start, getting some of those Squirtle combos, and even managing to dodge some what should be pretty straightforward uh, punishes from Joshathan. Hopefully he didn't get too shook up by his own Diddy Kong. Yeah, and who knows, um, like, wins like that can give a uh, give a person momentum. Like, may maybe that gave most momentum um, going into this game, game three. Um, right now, this looks a little bit, looks a little bit better than all the other Rob games we've seen before this one, so. Maybe Jackson kind of dug his own grave right now. <laughs> Getting the drag down, but oh, great mash out. And now he's actually in control. Oh, man, just to get the forward smash. Beautiful wow. traffic there. Yeah. Great trap. Okay, got the trap. And we got the DI. Hey, the first DI of the night. Okay, guys. I don't care if he dies with the back. The first DI of the night. I like it. You know, Moose looks like he's playing pretty well right now. Yeah, he's playing pretty well, but it's still an even game, because at least for what it feels like, 
it feels like Mooch has to play extremely well to even keep an even pace. That's how consistent Jonathan has been. Yeah, okay, and, and I'm, I'm liking I'm liking the little bit of patience coming out from Moose right now, but Jonathan still keeps on the down full pressure. Moose rolling away that time. I love Squirtle Up Bees so much. I love rando Squirtle Up Bees that just catch people because of how big and long lasting the hurt box is. It's obviously extremely vulnerable. And, oh, that was. Uh, oh yeah, he exhausted his resources off stage, meaning that in the end he was kind of predictably can only come in from that one particular angle. And Joshathan just ready for him. Let's that down air rip and puts him with a really good lead here. And as we've seen before, Rob with the lead is just oh, oh. yeah, yeah, I know what he's talking. About. Okay, one high, one high. Okay, respect it. Get out of that situation. Okay, yeah. Um, getting a parry and just trying to get stage control after that. Those up air out of shields are actually something we've seen quite a bit from Jonathan, even in his game during Pokéland, where he'll put himself at a very specific spacing on the ledge, uh, shield, and then sort of react with an up air. Uh, it seems to be pretty solid, especially when he also has a gyro backing him up. Oh no! I, oh no! Oh yeah, that's gonna be it. I you know what? You know, that was really unfortunate about that. He actually got a good bi again. I was looking at his um. Is uh, DI, the uh, DI indicator. You actually got pretty good DI on that. Yeah, but there's a certain point where DI does not matter. Um, as we saw right there, I, I, it, I always find it funny when somebody just sits, stands there on ledge and just waits. Uh, Gyro would have despawned eventually, right? So if he waited even longer, maybe he could have just waited out the gyro and then at the very least he would have more options on his getup. Uh, so I like the patience from both of them, but in a way, uh, yeah, Mooch just kind of blinked first. Yeah, and it's just a delicate situation because you're at like 150%. Any wrong move you do is, you know, can be potentially a loss of your stock. So in that situation, it's kind of just like guessing to a certain extent. Oh, um, he probably could have waited that out a little bit. Maybe jump, uh, but decided to jump and shield. <laughs> Maybe he could have done like a drop down, grab it. No, the thing is, he got on stage. Like, he 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 got the jump onto stage that he wanted, but he just was so he was just so scared of like a Rob Ford era down tilt condition for that that Jackson literally just grabbed him. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Cool. Oh, uh, what happened to Josh? Didn't dip? No, Mooch dipped. Let me go find him. Oh, he's back. Yeah, I see in the chat. Oh shit, it's best of five. So we're good. I'm sorry. So what are we uh, what are we mating on? What, yeah, no, Mo Mooch on? left because he thought it was on? best of three. Because this was this would be his uh, first best of five set. So he came back. Okay, we're out here. Yep. On the back out here. It's always nice when the emergency best three out of five uh, is part of the tournament. Yeah. When it just works out that way. It's like oh, I get to try again. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I guess I'm not sure what's happening right now. Okay, um, the Diddy uh, is what back. stage is it? There's no DSR, so maybe he took him back to Battlefield, and maybe he just, for some reason, doesn't want to play uh, Pokemon Trainer on Battlefield. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh all right. Oh my god. Can we not do the kid? Um, all right. So we're trying out the Diddy Kong again on Smashville. Um, we're sticking out with the Pokemon Trainer. We're gonna run out already starting out pretty, pretty fast. 
Yeah, Dodge has been looking a little better this time around. Uh, seems to under seems to be grasping the neutral uh, and what he needs to be doing, especially when it comes to the pressure that I'm seeing. He's uh, managing to stay on top of Squirtle and using that banana a lot more effectively than in game two, at the very least. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, being a little bit more patient with the banana and okay, DI. That was more questionable DI. I mean, he. This is the thing. If you don't die from it, then it was optimal DI. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. Okay. Goes for the uh, the vine whip there. Get some decent damage. Now Mooch is... Oh, that might be it. Yeah, great job converting off of that banana. Ooh. And Joshathan, we were gonna... You know, we were decrying this Diddy Kong. We were like, why are you doing this? But it seems to be doing all right. You know, maybe this Diddy Kong has a future. Wow. And we're starting to see the formations of it right now. Yeah, th uh, throwing out that Nair um, as a long last hitbox to cover that that Pokemon train switch. Oh, you get stuff done? Oh, that really smart saving his double jump and going for the instant upbeat and just get away from the danger zone of Ivysaur down as quickly as possible. Ooh, what a... That was such a nice option. Yeah. Mooch going out there to meet him and closing out the stock. He is down 68%, but uh, especially with some nice, solid early combos and the fact that he's been killing relatively early, Mooch could very easily still take this game. Yeah, um, especially with Ivysaur. Ivysaur, Charizard can take stock pretty early. Oh! Um, She's so thick. Yeah. Such a big yeah, boy. Yeah, stock's pretty early, so it's definitely, um, still in it's, it's that four feet of raw muscle. Charizard has. Isn't he five feet? I still, uh, I thought he was like four and a half feet or something. Uh, I might be wrong on the exact specifics. That almost killed him. <gasps> Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, he ran for that forward smash. If that had connected, that would have been just massive. But as it stands right now, 72% is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, unless he gets down there off stage, in which case it is yeah. the worst thing in the world. Yeah, both, yeah, both those characters can make you explode. And that up yet is still netting 35%, 44% unanswered. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the tricky things about playing a character like Diddy Kong, who has a very good neutral, really great ways to have a you know consistent gameplay, but he doesn't quite have the cheese factor, if you will. He isn't able to just, or he has to be scared of people just blowing him up on the spot. Um, which, in, especially in a way that I think Rob doesn't. <gasps> wow. Speaking of cheese, That's... that almost did it. That's yeah. probably going to be it. Yeah. Yeah, that forward right. smash covers so much range. It's very deceptive because he, he 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 has a big reel back on that forward smash. So sometimes yeah. when you think you roll behind him and and, and avoid that, that's not how that yeah. works. No, I, I I we used to call that the Noku when you would just throw out forward smash on oh. ledge. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember mm. the Noku. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Um, all right. So, uh, we're going to be moving on to game five between these two. I feel like we aren't going to be seeing the, uh, the Diddy Kong for game five, even though that was pretty close, definitely closer than game two was. Uh, if you're, uh, saying, you're Jonathan, saying... you want to stay and you want to stay in the tournament. He definitely wants it run back against Pokalam, who's sitting in a grand finals, which very feasibly uh, Josh then could make his way to. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to experiment with the Diddy Kong for a game five. I could be wrong, man. Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, Josh then is playing with fire right now. Uh, no matter, you know, how, you know, what you think, maybe he's, maybe he's just practicing, right? You never know. Um, but you can give somebody like Moose Momentum even going against your main character, no, I was saying this before. Um, it's it's macro conditioning. I keep telling you. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Well, you know, okay. Mooch might be. Say, oh, okay. Like, he backed out. I think he backed out. I was just like, uh, yeah. Um, maybe he accidentally won Diddy Kong game four. Yeah. Just a big old oopsie. Oops, you gotta commit now. I accidentally picked <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I quit now, I look like a fool. Um, Alright, so we are gonna be having the Rob versus Pokemon Trainer. 
No! Uh, game one was super big blowout. Game three was pretty close. So, you know, if uh, Mooch, you know, he might have some momentum from that last game. And if he's able to figure it out this time around, you know, he might be really happy that this is a best three out of five. And you see him right now. He's starting out with Ivy for this time, and that's Wordle. Um, maybe, maybe he wants oh. to try to do something a little bit different. Maybe he's on a little bit now instead of just trying to rush in against him with Wordle. Oh, great catch. Uh, dropping shield at just the wrong moment. Jonathan managing to get a pretty sizable lead. 82% knocked on him. Not only that, but he is starting starting to approach the point where something like grab, like, you know, down throw up air will take the stock. Like, yeah, and you know, and I think I think we we see where this where this um pick comes into play. Something that he's been doing right now is that he's been anti he anti aired Rob's Nair with up smash and is making it hard for Josh to land all the way that he made him air dodge and take that stock with the uh, uh, four smash. Right and now, this about, man. yeah, this is just looking really good for Mooch. Uh, and also because, oh, I don't know if he wanted that forward smash. Maybe he was reading an air dodge to the left. But, um... Okay, yeah. It's a big part of why um, Jostin did so well in games one and three was that he managed to get a lead early on. And so far, we haven't seen him really be able to do that this time around. Uh, Mooch, yeah, Mooch is taking a lot of damage, but he's managing to find very important stuff. So... Ooh, yeah. That was the same situation earlier on where he got caught dropping shield and got hit by the back air. That time he buffered the roll a little bit earlier and managed to get out of that dangerous situation. Okay, big combo possibly. Only a little bit of damage here. He is jumping out of disadvantage quite a bit, which is something that if a Rob catches on to, he can end a stock extremely early with that. And, and, and already, oh, and okay, and, uh, and Moose is going deep for that. Oh, and he got the text. And he manages to get back to the ledge. The text? Okay. Um, DI on that was so good. That was really good, man. Um, yeah, and I'll smash out a shield. That tech might have been the decider. Like, if he very feasibly can take this stock, really good spacing on these forward airs. Yeah, and Josh. Really big hit. He actually. Oh, okay, he up smash, the up smash. And he's still living. He, man, he avoids the up air. Okay, I think this is probably going to be it. It's going to be a lot harder for him to... Yep, yeah, yeah. there we have the stock being taken. Doesn't want to mess around the squirtle at all. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, not adaptation. You're getting a lot of mileage out of the Ivy Store and just keeping, just keeping Rob at bay and something he's been, he's been doing that he hasn't been doing as well as that he's been able to land and also keep Rob, and keep Rob away from him. Yeah, um, not only that, I have not seen him get down tilted really that once this game. And that was something that when he was playing Squirtle was happening to him all the time because that's where Squirtle ends up, you know, when Squirtle's playing neutral, he ends up in that down tilt range. So I think that switching to the Ivysaur as the, you know, the anchor really helping out here. But, oh, from this last stock situation, it's coming down to the wire. We have a, the first game five of top eight. And at the moment, it's basically neck and neck. This could be huge. Great job jumping out of that. Oh, it's just we the have a Charizard switch now. Oh, he's at pretty low percent to be going Charizard. Can he DI it? He does! He can get it. Oh, that's probably going to be it. He gets it up smash. Why would you do that? Uh, I think he reacted a little bit late to that Why would match. You? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, all that. And this. And he just threw it away. Is where he fucked oh up. Oh my god. He Why definitely you... thought he had more time to punish. You... I think it was just a little bit of a delayed reaction on his part. He probably could have dropped. He ran off the platform. He maybe could have dropped through inside bead, right? He could have just not. I mean, no, he definitely could have won the game there, I think. That was I, a I very... Need a, I need a record scratch sound effect so that I could just pause it and be like, <laughs> and this is where I fucked up. <laughs> oh, God.
You know what? Good, good on Josh then for keeping it together. Yeah. Good on Josh then for keeping it together. I'll say that because he he lost yeah. that lead towards the end, and it, I'm, it, I'm not gonna lie, it was not looking good for him. Um, but he pulled it. He pulled it together towards the end. Um, pulled together towards the end. Yeah. That I, was. A, I want to see this. Yeah, I think he could have just dropped through the platform and gone for side B. <laughs> Mooch be like, yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> no. I like how how Rob went after up smash just has like the arms to the side really big guy pose, you know? Like the person who works out their back too much so they have to stick their arms out to the side. That's what he looks like. Oh my god. god.